All right, welcome back once again. This one is gonna be on my helmet retainer, my helmet flap. All right, so as you guys can see, it's a pretty simple construction. A lot of you guys can probably figure out how it's made just by looking at it. This is ripstop nylon, and then I have one inch webbing. Sometimes I use tubular nylon. I've used that in another prototype. This is just multicam tropic one inch webbing sewed through, and then I put an elastic strap on the uh, on the bits of webbing themselves. How it attaches to the pack are just these like swift clips systems that you attach placards with plate carriers to plate carriers. You could just attach these buckles onto your backpack straps, on the rucksack. The split bar buckles are the best to get so you can kind of work them into weirder spots. Uh, it's going to be different for every pack. I've been able to make it work for the Alice. I've been able to work it, make it work for my Dragon Egg. Uh, direct action assault pack but as you can see it's pretty simple construction the uh the elastic webbing is just attached to the the cordura webbing and so that kind of fits over to secure the helmet a little bit more and then i have those straps just going all the way down so you take your helmet hook into the bottom hook into the top I like to take this piece of webbing and put it under the shroud. If you had a mount, it would be even better if you had like a Wilcox there. But I keep the ear pro on. I don't even need to fold them up. Bing, bang, boom. Pack is... It stays pretty secure as far as I've been testing it. If you guys are interested in these, I have them in my Etsy store. I can make them to order. If you guys are interested in some custom stuff, send me a DM. Other than that, I hope you guys got some cool ideas out of this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Make sure to like, subscribe, all the other YouTube nonsense. Catch you later, guys.